This video is sponsored by Many Worlds Tavern. Hello, how's it going? So, we're making a castle. A really, hmm. A really cool castle. All right, this is a castle from the video game Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is a 15th century, 15th, 14th century castle from Bohemia, modern day Czech Republic. And this is actually video number four, the big finale. So if you haven't watched those, I highly suggest you go and watch those first. It's really gonna build things up for you, make this whole process so much more exciting. And you're gonna get an idea of how we actually came to where we are now. The first video, I had to go into the video game, grab the model, yank it out of the video game, throw it into Blender, and we built a template around that thing to make this as accurate as possible. I'm just a regular guy who likes to play D&D, and I love to make things with my hands, especially miniature stuff. Like, I love anything miniature. Ah, so good. And in case you didn't know, I come from very humble beginnings. This is the very first project. I didn't even make the trees. The trees I just bought. And I thought that was the most amazing thing ever. We have come a long way. This thing is entirely scratch built and I'm just so, so proud of this thing. And now if I can do it, definitely you can as well. And that's what I'm here to show you. So let's make a freaking cool castle. Let's do it. All right, here it is. So I did already open this. You saw that I used some in the last video, but here we are. These are our shingles. So many shingles. This is so good. We got some other stuff in here from Prop Fox. Okay, these are nice. Go check them out, guys. Like, look how fine that is. These are gonna make for some perfect future projects. Awesome. All right, let's shingle some roofs. I could not be any happier with these shingles. Just look how amazing these things look. They really hardened and sturdy these things up. These things are way more solid than they were now. It was so much faster, so fast. This is the way I'm gonna be doing shingles from now on every time. So big thank you to Prop Fox. Tyler over there for supplying all these shingles. I did purchase them. He sent them over at uh, a bit of a discount, but you can check him out in the links below and go grab some of these yourself. Highly recommended. But now I'm gonna put these over here. Grab this guy. This is the front half of the castle. This was our test section for the paint. Turned out pretty awful. Not happy with it. So we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna paint this whole thing up now. I'll mask off all the wooden stuff. Off. Now I get to cover up this ugly mess. So I got my can of spray paint again. This is an almond. Thank you. 
All right, we're off to a solid start, and it's important for really big projects like this to not only pace yourselves properly, but to also take a step away every now and then and recharge your batteries. And what better way to do that than, of course, gay night. Which brings us to this video sponsor, Many Worlds Tavern. Many Worlds Tavern is an online coffee company focused on providing the absolute finest brew of coffee specifically for game night. Now, if you know me, I absolutely love the taste and aromas of an exquisitely crafted cup of coffee, especially on game night. And I must say, this is the cup of coffee to put you in the mood to settle in for a solid night of gaming. The Dragon's Nest Adventures Brew is my particular favorite, followed by the Great Old Ones long dark roast not only is it great coffee but with each bag sold they donate one dollar to support gaming related nonprofits. their featured product is their treasured realm coffee where they only make 400 bags each month with a number card limited edition sticker a DD 5th edition magic item and a set of dice be sure to follow them on social media or sign up for the newsletter to see when the next release drops and the first 100 people to use the discount code real terrain 10 get 10 percent off their orders so go grab your coffee now and be ready to settle in for a night of gaming Painting. Painting is done on this half, at least for the stone and all of that stuff. It's a bit more brown than the actual castle from Kingdom Come Deliverance, but I'm happy with it. We got our gatehouse, which is this guy right here. We got the top of the castle. This is wood right here. All the wooden planks, they're cut already by my beautiful wife, Jacqueline, as you saw in the last video, same here. And a bit quick little note on that. I just want to send out our huge gratitude and thanks for all of you and your amazing amazingly warm comments on that last video if you missed it i went into a little bit about my wife jackie's pain her back pain and how debilitating it is and you guys are just so amazing and the comments are so kind i'm if I didn't get to your comment, I'm sorry, there's a lot and I'm still going back through them and, and coming back. So I'm going to be trying to get to all your comments and at least hearting it and commenting when I can. And uh, so just massive thank you. We're, we're so touched by everything you guys had to say there. So, so yes, thank you for that. So now we get to take advantage of all the hard work that she had done there and put our planks on these two guys, get those going and uh, this will be coming together. So we are getting into a lot of wood elements again here. Ton, ton of wood stuff to build. So I got the game pulled up again, which is the absolute perfect reference for this thing. And we need to cut some windows into this guy. It's hard to tell down here where they all are. So I'm going to climb up, go right up into the tower here and uh, see where our windows are. Up we go. Yeah, so here's some hoarding again. We're going to be building more of this. We'll be doing these stairs right away here. Here we are. So this is obviously, this is the sleeping quarters for the guards. So I want to divide this thing into six equal parts. Uh, for that, you need a protractor. Now this might be a little overkill and probably eyeballing it would work. But if you don't have a good eye, this is the way to do it. This is seven and a half across. Half of that is three and three quarters. Start off with a circle 
And then I go on the edge of that circle, draw another circle there. Once you have those two circles, I'll put this circle here. So this is the middle, this is the center. So there we go. Split into six equal parts. So we got a window going here. A window going here, window going here, 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 and here. So I'm just going to mark it on the bottom. Perfect. fancy geometry but really these windows are exactly opposite from each other and it probably would be super easy just to eyeball all these but uh yeah that's what i get for trying to be smart okay so i think it's time we check in here now things are going immensely well i am making record time on everything we got our shingles got this big roof done the other roofs done painting is done this is done that's done we are making insanely good progress now we got to be careful of one thing one very nefarious very sinister thing that is self-sabotage what do I mean by self-sabotage? Bro, look at this man. Yeah, not too bad, hey? This is amazing. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Yeah? This just took you a couple days. Was just a couple days. Man, I've never seen you work this fast before. Whatever you're doing, man, just keep it up. Like, this is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. <sighs> Let's see what's going on on YouTube. Oh, man. So much to do. We cannot fall into self-sabotage. We are gonna continue on as if we are just beginning. I'm gonna do my best to not uh, let those thoughts enter. Now, I would put these roofs on, but it just looks too good. And we're gonna to have to save that to the end. It's just turning out so well. I am very happy. So let's keep going. I'm gonna move on to the hoarding. We can do this, I think. I think. Yeah. your advice or someone's advice in the comments. Uh, sorry, I forget your name. He suggested just making a jig, which is very smart and it'll speed up the process. So this is a jig for the roof rafters. You stick your stick in there, one side, chop there, stick a stick in the other side, and then like that. Then we take it like that, 
like so. Take this guy and stick him in there. And then it's just making the middle piece there. Okay, so here is where we are at right now. On the inside, we, I didn't finish that in the middle there, that part of the seam. So we gotta take this upstairs again, do that. We also gotta color match both sides and do some repair to some brutal damage. That is right there. So this thing was on the floor when I was working on this half and I backed right up into it. That's my heel. That's how close I came to those stairs there. I'm really lucky that when I stepped in there, I didn't lose my balance and have to kick another foot backwards and land right on top of that thing. So we're very, very, very fortunate that I'm not doing some much heavier repairs on this thing. Tricky part, we'll pull this apart. Yeah, push it back together again. Okay, so I'm gonna let that set for about five minutes again. And then pull it apart when we're done. And you can see, again, I did this in the last video. Perfect uh, stuff for longevity. Okay, so we got a bit of a seam here between the roofs. Let's cover it up. I was thinking using just planks as if it's uh, being patched up with some wooden planks. Last video, this is what we're gonna use for our windows. Just gonna chop that up with the old angle grinder.
So I thought I was done. I thought this we were good to go for the castle. But you know what? These crenellations here, these guys, they've been really bothering me. They're very rounded and they're not really meant to be like that. They're actually made of stone. They might be plastered, but they would still be a lot more square than that. I thought it'd be fine. No big deal. It kind of has a weathered look, you know, rounded weather look. This would be maybe a couple hundred years old at this point, but still now we got to do it properly and make it look the way it's meant to look. Here it is in all its glory. I told myself I wasn't gonna get into self-sabotage. I think I kind of did at the end there. The last five, 10% is always the worst for me, especially on something really big like this, but I'm working on it. So yes, very happy. A few things to talk about. The crenellations look a lot better now that they are more square. I think that made a really big difference. Absolutely, each of the roofs can be taken off for a game of d and I did not finish the interiors. I was even planning to do rafters and stuff under the roofs, but there's a strong chance we will be seeing another video on this yet we did talk about building a base for this so this thing needs to be sitting up on a really big hill there needs to be something on the other side of that drawbridge over there as well so we've there's, there's a lot left to do here but overall at this stage so so incredibly happy with how it all turned out just look how flipping cool this thing is each of the roofs on the staircase can come off on all the hoarding everything let's do a big spin around here so so cool so crazy so yeah let's push it back together here nothing more to say other than let's roll that b-roll <laughs> <laughs> 